Greetings everyone, the good tonight here today with a review on the Elite Force SR-14. Now the most thing you might, most thing you might notice about this is it's not the SR-16 or the SR-25, which are knight armaments, sort of uh, M4 variants. This is the Elite Force SR-16, which is basically a speed loader that looks like a futuristic Halo shotgun mixed with a confuggled World War II Japanese assault machine gun shenanigans. Anyway, moving on. Basically what we have is if you look down here, it loads 40 BBs down this lower table. Up here it holds 1800 BBs, which will then load it. And now, you can take this onto the field as a normal shotgun, or as a uh, backup speed loader, and you can put it in your backpack, and every time you step, every time you take a step, it's going to make a slight rattle, so it is an option if you want to carry a ton of extra ammo, but it is going to ruin your stealth capabilities. Now, that being stated, and one BB dropped onto the floor in embarrassment, you take your magazine, fancy expensive mag, and you load it. Yo, hey! And it's ready. So basically all you have to do is that this little plug here, when depressed, allows BBs to flow in. So. When it's really, really sad, it's gonna let BBs in. And then when you repress it, in the uh, terms of like uh, China or Russia, all you have to do is pump. It's gonna take a bit of effort. That means it's working. And I just loaded 40 BBs. Now as you'll see, this thing reloads. So if you wanna be sneaky, you depress and sadden it, the lever, and you slide it forward. And you catch all the extra BBs you need. Oh, I didn't. I didn't depress it. And that's what happens when you don't depress it. You can shake that all around and you have another 40 ready to load with another pump, shake, pump, shake. Now this holds 140 and we have 40 in there right now. So we release this and I will take my fancy BB jar and I actually had to do this review twice because the first time I didn't believe it was actually 40 BBs and upon counting it was and I looked silly in front of the internet. So let's uh, let's try this again. And... Yep, that's about right. So it doesn't look like much, but that is definitely 40 BBs. I hand counted them the last video. I looked ridiculous in front of a camera, which I guess is kind of standard by now. But yeah, so 100 or 40 BBs right there. So I'll just plug these back in when we're done. And yeah, so. There's not a whole lot to say about this. It's, the downside is it's larger than your average speed loader. Well, on the plus side, you can load magazine. I could load mags, let's see. 40, 80, 120. 120 is probably pretty good, leave an extra 20 space in there. So in three pumps, I could load a mag. Now I only need maybe one, possibly two mags for 10 gun, but if I were to go back to say, Tokyo Survival Game Park or anything, I can have all my mags up and ready in less than two minutes possibly it doesn't take long at all to load with this which is what i like about it. the speed loader took a bit of time and continuous multiple pressing so yeah so congratulations to elite force who also make my little kill rag that is a uh, pretty impressive I'm not gonna lie so awesome little device i'm looking forward to actually using it in actual field related stuff but yeah as you can see it does uh cool stuff i.e Inter oh, okay, let me put this in cool kid speak. That's good shit right there. 100, 100, lit, lit, smiley face. On the, upon the fleek fam, 100. That's basically the summary of what this does. So, yeah. Pretty awesome little thing. Less field worthy and more, uh, I guess you put in a salt pack or something. But, yeah. Cool little thing. I'm going to have to give it my recommendation because I'll definitely be using this as opposed to my uh, standard smaller loaders for the sake of time and efficiency. I swear to unspecified deity that my team better not demand use of this. They're like 25 bucks. Seriously, if you guys are watching, just go buy your own. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Or just pay me in BBs. I'll take BB payment. I swear if you break this, I'm going for $25. Heads up. It's not threatening, is it? It's not threatening at all. If I put the magazine, it's less threatening. So, eh, that's your review. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.